What is up guys, Nick here with another video. So I posted a video a few days ago about how to get some bandwidth back in Windows 10 because Microsoft is stealing it from you in order to download updates for you and for other people. And um, even though it doesn't have a whole lot of views yet, I think I'm going to continue doing this series a little bit with uh, how you can improve your Windows 10 experience because honestly for me, Windows 10 has just been a nightmare. With the most recent update, it broke my TP-Link a wireless card and I had zero internet access so I had to go on my laptop and download the driver utility for it and then move it onto my desktop via a thumb drive and then install it again and uh, now it's working fine I have 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi again but it's still it's just it's just a headache but today I'm gonna show you how to get some RAM back on a lower spec system. Now for me I have 8, or no actually I have 16 gigabytes of RAM and for some reason my disk usage is through the roof. Let's take a look at that shall we? Oh uh, service, okay, okay whatever. Oh and open broadcaster software, okay all that makes sense. So what we're gonna look at is the RAM. So Cortana, I don't use Cortana. Windows has a search feature built in. Cortana just gets on my nerves and she's using 28.9 megabytes. Uh, she watches you all the time so that she can give you uh, interest-based results. So all you need to do is hit start and start typing Cortana. And it's almost as if it's almost as if they know that you want to disable it because it's just it doesn't even show up with just the the Cortana app. It shows Cortana and search settings. So you open this up and I have Cortana turned off and then you have device search history. Improve search results for on-device content using my device search history. No clear that out, turn that off, turn everything off, then go into other privacy settings if you want to, and then smart screen filter to check URLs, no I don't need that, send Microsoft info about how I write to help them improve typing and writing, no, no they don't need that, these are all just services that run in the background and steal your RAM, so close out of that, Cortana, why are you still there, in the task, and hopefully the next time you restart, Cortana will be dead. She'll be gone. I hate Cortana. I hate what Windows 10, what Microsoft is trying to do with Windows 10. Oh no, it's still, she just keeps popping back up. So let's go in here. Let's look in the system apps. There's no easy way to turn it off. You're just stuck. 34.6 megabytes of RAM. Now imagine if you were on a lower end tablet computer and you got pushed into updating from Windows 8.1 or Windows 8 to Windows 10, well then 34 megabytes, 34, 35 megabytes of your one gigabyte of RAM is going to be reserved for Cortana. And she uses CPU resources occasionally, she reads and writes from the disk doing I don't even know what. I just, I don't see Cortana as a good thing at all other than Microsoft watching you and they say that it is to improve search results and this and that, but really what they want is money. That's all they ever wanted. Microsoft, just, that's all they want. So hopefully, with these couple of settings disabled, um, oh, manage what Cortana knows about me in the cloud. So for this, oh, good, yeah, interest manager. Clear, clear all of that other Microsoft services. So she watches you across everything, or at least Microsoft watches you across everything. I'm clearing all all the data because I don't even know what I've put on there. The search history, everything. This is all synced in the cloud across all kinds of devices. It's just why can't Microsoft just make Windows to run as Windows and let us install our own software that we want to use? I mean, Internet Explorer, I still don't use it. I don't use Internet Explorer. I don't use Microsoft Edge because it's all terrible. It's all the same garbage, just repackaged and rebundled. I, I use Chrome, not because it's a million times better or anything, but because just because it's not Internet Explorer, just because it doesn't crash every 10 seconds or run or want to run an ActiveX control every 10 seconds. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video will help you gain back some RAM if you're on a lower spec system and gain back some CPU resources because that's useful across the board. Um, don't forget to rate, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you hated it, and leave me a comment down below to either let me know how I'm doing or give me a suggestion or let me know a problem you have with your computer. 
that you would like to see fixed, and I'll see if I can fix it, and I'll make a video. Thank you, guys.